Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session on Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze the drill bit for static structural analysis. We will start by double clicking on static structural. We will first go to engineering data. There are various materials used for the drill bit, namely stainless steel, cemented carbide, carbon steel, tungsten carbide, D2 steel. In this session, we are going to take up three materials. The first one being carbon steel, the second one being tungsten carbide, and the third one being D2 steel. We will try to draw a comparison between the three materials being used for structural analysis. So we will start by creating the first material that is carbon steel. The density of carbon steel is 7850 kg per meter cube. The value of isotropic elasticity is what I'm going to give. In that, I'll give the value of Young's modulus in megapascal. It is 2.1. E5 and the poison's ratio is 0 0.29. So this is the first material. The second material that we are going to use is tungsten carbide. The density of tungsten carbide is 15630 kg per meter cube. Next, we'll give the data for isotropic elasticity. The value of Young's modulus in megapascal is 53,000. Value of mu is 0 0.31. The third material that we are going to use is D2 steel. The density of D2 steel is 7700 kg per meter cube. For isotropic elasticity, we will give Young's modulus in megapascal is 28,000 and the value of Poisson's ratio is 0 0.27. So we have created three materials. We will now go to project and update project. Next, I will go to geometry and right click. I will import geometry of the drill bit. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. We'll first go to geometry and allocate the material carbon steel. Next, we'll go to mesh and change the sizing to 5 and update. Next, I'll go to static structural and insert fix support on this side. Apply. Next, I'll go to static structural and insert force. Click on apply. Next, I'll go to define by and change vector to component. Now, if you check the axis, this axis is Z. So, along the Z axis, I'll apply a load of 20 kilonewton, that is 20,000 newton. And you can see the direction will be towards 
the body you can see here the arrow is given here at this point next i'll go to solution and insert deformation total i also want to see the deformation directional along the z axis i'll insert stress equivalent i'll insert strain equivalent also i'll insert energy strain next i'll go to solution and solve we we'll see the first result of total deformation the maximum value is 0.465 mm we'll animate and check the result over the drill bit so this is the effect that we can see next is the directional deformation the maximum value is minus 0.246 mm because of the direction it is showing a negative sign and this is the value of deformation next is equivalent stress over the body the value is 6565.2 megapascal that's the maximum value which is at few places you can click on max min to see where the value is maximum and you can see where the value is minimum we'll just animate and see next is elastic strain the value is 0.041 you can animate and check the result that's the highest value over the body the minimum value is very very less 4.144 into 10 raised to minus 11 which means it's really low we can also see the strain energy which is stored in the body due to the strain which is generated it is 6.95 millijoules a small value of energy that's because the strain also is very less so this is all about carbon steel now let's change the material to tungsten carbide and solve once again Let's check the total deformation. It is 1.85 mm. You can animate and see the result. Directional deformation is 0.97 mm along the z axis. That to the negative sign indicates the direction. You can again animate and check the result. You can see that the deformation has clearly increased using tungsten carbide, whereas carbons. Steel was giving you better readings. Let's see the stress. It is six four three one point four megapascal over the body. Elastic strain is point one five nine over the body, and the strain energy is twenty seven point seven millijoule. The strain has increased over the body. That's because the stress is also reduced. If you see as compared to the previous one. So this is the strain energy stored. Now let's see the third material that we have chosen, which is Deco steel. We'll go to solution and solve once again. Now you can see the total deformation is three point four seven two five mm. It is the highest as compared to the three materials. The directional deformation is also 1.83 mm along the negative z axis, which is also increased. Stress value is 6693.7 megapascal, which is the maximum amongst the three material. And the elastic strain you can see is 0.313. This is again the maximum value. And the strain energy stored is 51.9. Again, it is the highest amongst the three of them so if given a choice i would choose carbon steel as compared to tungsten carbide and deco steel the reason being the results are better we are getting least amount of deformation using carbon steel whereas it is quite higher when you see tungsten carbide and deco steel and amongst tungsten carbide and deco steel again i would choose Tungsten carbide, the reason being it is giving better readings as compared to deco steel. So the best choice of material is carbon steel. If it is not 
possible to use carbon steel then i would use tungsten carbide and the least choice would be d2 steel for the drill bit material so with this i end the session i hope you have understood the analysis if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you